Welcome back to The Zoomer. We all know that packing can be a daunting task, whether it's for a weekend getaway or a long journey. And Michelle Delroy will show us her tips on making you a packing pro for the next getaway. Michelle, that is a thing of beauty. <laughs> I do not think I could aspire oh, to that. Oh, you can do it. You can do it. Um, I'm glad you like what you see so far. Um, I always recommend using a carry-on luggage when traveling because you're going to get through the airport so much faster, so much more smoothly. You don't have to worry about lost luggage and you have everything with you. So to get started, you want to start off with a packing list, a travel packing list. And this just keeps you on track. You know, you want to make sure you have everything that you need. And, uh, you know, if you don't have a travel packing list, you can find one on Mountain Equipment Co-op's website. They have a whole lot of lists there with different travel styles. And if you don't have everything, it's like a shopping list. So make sure you give yourself some time to pack with that list and stay on track. So besides that list, uh, you want to have all of your documents in a clear folder when you go through security. You just want to have it ready in case they ask you questions. All your important documents are right in there. And then, of course, in your personal handbag, you want to have all of the liquids. So all of your toiletries will be in a clear bag. But I also like to put everything in Ziploc bags so that it's all categorized and you can find things easily, like your medication. And what uh, is that, a medium Ziploc? Uh, yeah, this would be like medium, I would say. And, you know, I don't know how much people want to bring for medication and that sort of thing, but you want to have that with you in your personal bag and not above you. And in certainly the... if it's not over the counter, if it's medication you need, you should be carrying it with you, it's of true. course. It's true, yes. So I have electronics in here as well. So the adapters you don't really have to have in your personal bag. You can put it into your luggage, but I just have it all in here just to show you. It's all categorized, um, but all of the electronics that you need, your chargers, adapters live in there. And of course, makeup. Um, I would try to keep the liquids all together. If you have liquid makeup in there, you want to put it all together just because you don't want to have them ask you to take things out and put it back in because that's another added stress, a water bottle. So this one is a collapsible one. You don't need a collapsible one. This just happens to be one. But you know, when you get to the airport, uh, you want to have it empty. But once you get through security, you want to be able to stay hydrated. You can fill it up at the airport, have it on the plane because you know you get dehydrated through uh, being on a plane for so long. So you want to have that on hand as well as all of your utensils and steel straws. Uh, a lot of countries are now banning single-use plastics, just like Canada. So you want to just like continue to, you know, be mindful of having stuff on you when you want to eat and less waste wherever you travel. Of course, earplugs and an eye mask. Uh, you want to have that on hand in your personal bag. Um, wipes, of course, you want to have that for the seat. You want to wipe down everything uh, and just make sure everything's clean. And then finally, getting into the luggage itself. Uh, I like to use packing cubes. And I actually have uh, my outfits for, this could be for a week or two, that all fit in there. I know that's shocking. <laughs> but the trick is packing less. So I recommend less bottoms, because you can switch that up. Um, you can get a top for every single day, because you know when yeah. you go to a hot destination, you're going to sweat. You want to going to put on a Maybe new. Maybe you need more fresh than one, clothes. especially if you exercise. That's true. Yeah, and that's thin, so that's easy to roll up and fit inside, right? So other stuff that I have in the carry-on luggage is a travel backpack. This actually folds out into a backpack. So if you're going to do any trekking or hiking or any sort of thing where you want to be hands-free, you got that backpack on hand. Uh, for the weather, always check in advance uh, how the weather's going to be. And I feel like, you know, the rain is unpredictable sometimes, so bring a raincoat, and this is also foldable as well. And then if you wear jewelry or accessories, uh, I like to use this as my little hack. Um, this is something you can get at the dollar store, and it's for, you know, beads and little artwork. And uh, yeah, you just, you know, have your rings, your earrings, your necklaces all separated. And you can put this in your personal bag instead of the luggage. This is my little hack too. Uh, whenever I go to hotels or wherever I'm staying, if it's an Airbnb, I always bring like a cloth to wipe down the counters. You don't want to use the, the towels that the hotel or place provides. And you don't want to use the toilet paper because you need it. So I feel like this always comes handy. Where <laughs> do the shoes go? That's oh, so yeah, I know. Shoes are so important, right? I know. I know. OK, well, we'll get in there. <laughs> So I have shoes back here. I recommend only packing two. Using a shower cap can really hold any size 
shoe. Um, they stretch out as well. You can get them at the dollar store. Yep. And I only recommend bringing two. You're going to have the shoes that you're wearing to the airport, so runners or casual shoes. But you might want to have a dressy pair of shoes if you're going to dress up a little bit. And then also for walking around in your hotel room or if you're going to go swimming um, and in the bathroom as well, I just like to have slides or flip-flops just handy uh, in case. What about those luggage trackers. We, we heard all those horror stories, lost yes. luggage. The people knew where their log luggage was. The airline didn't. Yeah, yeah. So there's actually these electronic trackers that you can leave in your luggage now so that you can actually find it. And you can use an app on your phone to, to track it so you don't have to worry about your lost luggage. Those trackers are also becoming very popular for people who use wheelchairs because they lose our wheelchairs as well. So people are now getting those and taping them to their wheelchairs so you can find wherever your wheelchair may have gone and get it back. So that's amazing. Yeah. Um, and to reiterate, I would just say if you have a disability, mm -hmm. your medication always on with you in your personal bag and, yes. and always keep if it's a prescription, mm -hmm. keep it in the prescription bottle. A lot mm -hmm. of people I work with have 10, 15 medications, and they want to just put it in one big bottle. When you get to customs, they might not appreciate yeah. that. So it might be, you know, you need a bigger bag. It's not the easiest to carry 10, 15 bottles, but it's best to have those prescription labels on each and every one. Yeah. And same thing with vitamins. I'm a nutritionist. A lot of oh. my clients say, can I take, you know, all my vitamins in one bag or my, my supplement powder, my protein powder? in a bag and I say, don't, don't do that <laughs> because that looks a little suspicious. Uh, yeah, just again, if you can keep it in its original bottle so people know what it is and you're not questioned too much at customs. What's a message to people who sort of throw up their hands and say, I, I could never do this. Um, it's too organized. What do you say? Honestly, um, there's so much stress that comes with traveling that this is the one thing you can control. It's your stuff and you can be prepared. So, you know, if you want to be prepared on your trip and have a smoother experience, then it's, it's best to try to pack this way and it'll give you a little bit more peace of mind on your travels. Okay. <laughs> there's more after the break. Don't go away.